Hello everyone. In this short presentation, I want to show you how to properly expose exteriors and interiors in Unity URP. So in HDRP, this will be a little bit easier because there is eye adaptation. But in URP, we don't have the eye adaptation, so we need to create exposure uh, volumes uh, to simulate this effect. I started with a pretty uh, neutral scene here, the sunlight set to 1 intensity, and I have a global volume with the tone mapper to ACES. This is the one you want to use, because otherwise you get this really ugly gradient, it looks really old school. Uh, with the ACES tone mapper, uh, the values just look more uh, natural, and they added a little bloom. So the problem that I'm facing here is, the sun first is way too dark, you know, it's not bright enough, it's not ex it's exposed correctly for this kind of situation here. One thing that we could do is just uh, force the exposure here by going to color adjustments and then uh, increase the exposure. But I don't want to do this, I want to kind of have like a baseline, which will be my exterior. So when I do this kind of exposure, I always start with the exterior first and then I create local volumes for the interiors. But this might be different if you're working on a mostly interior scene and then you only have uh, like a small exteriors. So the bigger the area, the, the more it should be covered by the global exposure, which I just deleted here. Let me bring this back. Let's start by raising the intensity here. And uh, so if I go inside, it, it looks way too dark, right? Uh, and here, if I go too bright, it gets white. So that's the problem with URP, because if we had the eye adaptation, even if you go really strong like this, the camera would adapt. Uh, and then things would look correct. But with URP, we don't have this uh, luxury. So we need to, to be mindful of the exposure. Uh, I think 2 is a, is a good value for like a sunlight, uh, like a, you know, like a bright day. And I'm just gonna hit bake again. And uh, the interior gets a bit more bounce, but it's still pretty dark, right? Like we, we wanna have this interior here exposed uh, differently. So to do that is very easy. Just create a new uh, box volume in this case, and uh, just let's adjust the size here. Make sure it covers the interior. A little bit more here. But that should be good enough. And the blend distance uh, set to one in this case is okay because. Uh, Otherwise, it, it will look a little weird, but we, we'll see that soon. So make sure the, the mode set to local, and then we hit new. This will create a new profile. And uh, this one, you want to do a color adjustments. And then you tweak the exposure until you find a good value for the interior. So now this interior is uh, better exposed. And that's how you can get that HDRP look in a... Uh, URP is by being mindful of the values. Now this interior looks pretty good, we can even exaggerate this if we want. Uh, and you see the, the outside start to, to look very bright, which is what you, what you would expect in a situation like this. But I think uh, 2 is a, is a good number for the interior. So what happens now is, once we go outside, this should look pretty dark. Because now the scene is exposed to the outside. So this is a pretty cool effect and it will make the scenes look much more uh, believable. And this transition value is what you what you can do with the... You, you can set with the blend distance here. So if I do 2, it starts a little too early. So uh, 1 is a, is a good size for this here. So that's how you expose like a bright outside with a dark interior. But next, let's see the opposite. What if you have a dark interior for uh, exterior, for example, like a night scene, and a bright interior? So here's another example. I have the exterior at night, so it, it gets pretty dark in the shadows. 
and uh, I wanted to simulate like a bright interior. And uh, I exaggerated here a little bit for the effect, but then uh, in the I did the same idea but in reverse. So in the inside, I actually lowered the exposure one and a half. So when you look outside, it looks dark, you know, which is what typically happens, you know, when you are in a very bright interior. But then when I go outside, it expo exposes correctly. So it's a little tricky in URP to get these uh, ranges correctly because we don't have the physical light like we do in uh, HDRP and Unreal. But we can fake some of this stuff by using these uh, different exposure uh, volumes. So I hope this was uh, useful to you and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for new tutorials. So see you in the next one. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you're looking to step up your environment art skills, I invite you to check my environment art creation course, Environment Art Mastery. This is a massive course that took me more than two years to put together and contains everything that I learned about environment art creation after more than a decade in the games industry. The course contains everything you need to know to be able to come up with your own ideas and take them to completion by using an easy to follow process that breaks down the creative process in logic steps. This process can be used to create all kinds of environments, no matter the style, theme or engine. If you want to know more, visit environmentartmastery.com or watch the deep dive video in my channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video.